हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम कृष्णा गर्ग आई रिटायर्ड एज प्रोफेसर एंड हेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एनाटमी लेडी हार्डिंग मेडिकल कॉलेज मैनी ईयर्स बैक सिंस देन आई हैव बीन वर्किंग इन मेडिकल कॉलेजेस डेंटल एंड फिजियोथेरेपी कॉलेजेस आई हैव ऑथर्ड नंबर ऑफ बुक्स फॉर मेडिकल स्टूडेंट्स इंक्लूडिंग द फोर वॉल्यूम्स ऑफ बी डी चौरसियाज ह्यूमन एनाटमी एंड प्रैक्टिकल एनाटमी वर्क बुक for dental students a textbook and practical book for nursing students for bsc nursing for gnm nursing and for anm students and lastly for the pharmacy students now we have come up with a manual of human anatomy dissection this is the manual of human anatomy dissection we have recently done this book the dissection is both an art and science number of dissection manuals are available the most popular one is the cunningham's manual of practical anatomy many of these are in three volumes some are in one volume also but all these gives computer aided or hand drawn diagrams and not the actual ones the idea of the book was given by mr s k jain who is the chairman and managing director of cbs publishers and distributors after lots of deliberations it was decided to do the book in only one volume and this is complementary to the textbook of anatomy the index of competency based undergraduate curriculum for the indian medical graduate 2018 has been provided with each of the six sections the book gives a brief outline of the cadaver that is the human dead body how to obtain the cadaver how to embalm the cadaver how to take care of the cadaver when it, the dissection is being done and how to dispose the dissected body after the dissection is complete the instruments are given for the dissection the chisel hammer and saw are provided by the departments the the scalpel and the forceps the scissors are provided have to be bought by the students including the hand lens and the skin marking pencil the dissection is done in various regions and they are put in sections upper limb thorax lower limb abdomen head and neck and brain and each of these regions or sections have number of chapters upper limb has 8 thorax 7 lower limb 10 abdomen 20 head and neck 10, 19 and brain 10 the highlight of the dissection are the photographs of actual dissection not taken from the museum specimen or not drawn not drawn by the computer these photographs will give nostalgia to the faculty members for remembering their their carefree free days during the dissection hall these are the slides of upper limb which we have put in the book this shows the slide of the axilla uh, with the median nerve ulnar nerve and the radial nerve here is the diagrams actual diagrams of the cubital fossa showing the boundaries of cubital fossa and the contents of cubital fossa median nerve brachial artery biceps and the radial nerve the diagram of the of the palm showing the superficial palm arch and the long tendons which are going to get inserted into the digits the muscle of the palm the adductor pollicis with its transverse and the oblique head coming to the thorax the diagram of the mediastinum of the left side showing the arch of aorta and the descending aorta with their branches and the intercostal nerves and vessels the other one is the heart with its incisions which are lying anterior to the phrenic nerve the diagram of the right ventricle the opening how to open the right ventricle and the structures 
structures in the in the AV group. The diagram of the right ventricle, the pulmonary trunk, the right ventricle, and the pulmonary cusp. Diagram of the left ventricle, the left atrium with its with its valve and the thick myocardium. They call the tympani, they call the tendini, the papillary muscles and the thick muscle of the left side of the heart. The lower limb diagrams show the femoral triangle, the femoral artery, the, uh, the femoral artery, femoral vein and the place for the uh, canal, femoral canal and we can see the great saphenous vein draining into the femoral vein. The popliteal fossa showing the upper medial boundaries with lots of muscles, upper lateral boundary, biceps femoris and the content, the superficial content is the tibial nerve. The diagram showing the beginning of the great saphenous vein lying anterior to the medial malleolus, the dissection of the sole showing the plantar interossei and the dorsal interossei and the plantar arch with the deep branch of the lateral plantar nerve. The abdomen diagrams are the ones which show here the transversus abdominus muscle lying on the transversus abdominus are the intercostal nerves uh, which are lying between the between the internal oblique muscle and the transversus muscle. Here there are the ab abdominal viscera, the transverse colon, ascending colon, descending colon on the right and left side and the mesentery with the intestines. Here is the beautiful diagram of the C-shaped duodenum with the head of the pancreas, neck of the pancreas, body and the tail. It is seen that the tail is quite broad and it is not as narrow as the tail. It really means the diagram of abdominal aorta showing its various branches which are labeled. The head and neck part shows the diagram of the muscular triangle of the of the anterior triangle and even the digastric triangle with the anterior belly of digastric, posterior belly of digastric and the submandibular gland are seen. This is a very beautiful diagram of the facial nerve dividing into, into its various branches and the, as it is passing through the parotid gland. A diagram of the lateral, the photograph or diagram of the lateral wall of the nose showing the air sinuses and the superior, middle and inferior nasal conchi. The section through the tongue showing the important life-saving genioglossus muscle, geniohyoid and mylohyoid muscle. Lastly, the section on the brain shows the meninges, the, the dura mater with the branches of middle meningeal vessels. The beautiful diagram through the cerebellum showing the arbor vitae pattern of the cerebellum, the gray matter and white matter, the white matter showing the dentate nucleus. The superolateral surface of brain showing in red the motor area and in green the sensory area. 3, 1, 2 is sensory and 4 is motor and the same areas continuing on the medial surface in the paracentral lobule. The red is the motor area and the green is the sensory areas. These are the diagrams. Each of the chapter each of the chapter begins with a learning objective, what all one has to learn, the overview which gives a which gives a broad outlook of what is given in the text, the competency achievements and the steps of dissection in simple language and including the diagram. At the end of the chapter, we have the viva voce questions. These viva voce questions can be answered if one has read the dissector and do and done the dissection and read the textbook of human anatomy by B. D. Chaurasia. 
the sections on 1 to 5 shows the various joints, the movements at the particular joint, the main muscles doing the movement and their nerve supply. This particular slide shows the muscles and joints of some of the, uh, of the upper limb. Coming to the brain, the, all the flow charts of the cranial nerves are shown. I am showing the course of the trigeminal nerve as the nuclear columns, the cores and the various branches of thalamic, maxillary and mandibular and on the side a course of the facial nerve with the nuclear columns with its all its long tortuous course and its finally branches. And this is a slide which shows the comparison between the fifth and the seventh nerves and these are the nerves which are most often asked in the examinations. The end of each section shows the spots spots on all these respective sections. This is showing the spot on abdomen and pelvis. These are useful in practical examination. The spot is shown, the questions are asked and at the back there are the answers to check on their skills and knowledge. The book can be used not only by the medical students, but it can be used by students who are doing BDS, Bachelor in Dental Surgery or Masters in Dental Surgery. It can also be used by students of Bachelor in Physiotherapy, Bachelor in Occupational Therapy and students of Ayush, that is Ayurvedic students, Yoga and Naturopathy students, Yunani students, Siddha students and students who are studying homeopathic streams. There is a request the, to give the feedback of the book at the email drkrishnagarg at gmail.com and to please send some actual photographs of the dissection and last but not the least that to ensure the students buy a set of bones for themselves without the bones the study of anatomy is incomplete. I hope I have given you a crystal clear picture of the contents of the book and thank you very much for giving the valuable time. Thank you.